on. Afterward, we see Agu caught up in a shootout and he's attacked by the kid he saw before. Other men show up and turn out to be the Native Defense Forces or the NDF soldiers. They capture Agu, thinking that he's one of the enemies. Then, the man known as the Commandant, the leader of the NDF, arrives and asks about Agu. He asks who brought him to which another child soldier named Stryker responds that he does. Commandant, then, asks Agu what he's doing there to which Agu responds by telling him what happened to his family. The Commandant asks him to say his name proudly and decides he will join NDF. He will train along with the others. Afterward, they march back to their camp. At the camp, everyone pays their respect to the Commandant. Meanwhile, Agu is given to another soldier to train. Later, we see him, with other soldiers but he's the only one not eating. He asks for some food but a soldier tells him that only soldiers can eat. Then, we hear the Commandant calls on Stryka. The scene changes to Agu starting his training. He's also praying to God to see his mother. 